For victims of the September 11th attacks, it's hard to come back, even 10 years on. I, it's, it's sort of surreal, just kind of looking at, you know, the work and it's hurtful. what used to be. Along with thousands of other New Yorkers, Victoria was in the North Tower at 8.46 a.m. when a Boeing 747 smashed into the building 30 stories above. I hear this resounding sound, psh, crash, and all of a sudden the building begins to sway from side to side. The people around me were running, they were screaming, they were crying. 777, the magnificent seven. They were only seven, but they fought like 700 to bring the kind of justice that would last. 15 minutes later, at 9.03 a.m., United Airlines Flight 175 crashed into the South Tower with 65 captives and five terrorists on board. Ignoring orders not to evacuate, Nicole ran down 73 flights before the second plane hit. Downstairs, she first realized the full scale of the disaster. It looks a mess. You've got flooding, you have water, you have people that were injured. Um, I was able to see outside until so you saw fallen bodies, you know, of individuals that were higher up than I was. Uh, it was just a mess. I hear this resounding sound, psh, crash, and all of a sudden the building begins to sway from side to side.